Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Shay and I'm going to help you guys um, to create your own journal inside of Canva. I have personally created multiple uh, journals in Canva um, to sell on Amazon. So I'm going to show you the dimensions. I'm going to show you how easy it is and also how easy it is to plug in templates and still use them as your own. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to create a design. Now my dimensions for my journal is uh, seven by 10, but in Canva, I had to convert it to pixels just to make sure that the printing quality is great. So you want to put in, if you want to do a seven by 10, 1,410 by 2,250. Uh, and make sure the pixels is always there. You'll click create new design and it will bring you to a blank design like this. And so I'll show you how I created this one. This is my personal journal. And as you can see, I um, completed it here in Canva. All mine, all my own designs. I didn't use a template. And it's a hundred page design. And so if you are familiar with KDP Amazon, or if you aren't, then um, they require that you have at least a hundred pages to print um, any journal or any book that you desire to put on their platform. And they're not relaxed about it. It has to be a hundred pages to a T or more. So that's something for you to, um, to consider as well if you plan on doing something like a journal or just publishing a um, self-publishing a book. But as you can see here, and I'll show you my tricks. So I wanted colorful pages, I wanted colorful dimensions, and I'll show you uh, some of the pages here just to see um, all of the pages that I have. I have a journal that's in black and white, and I also have some that's in, I have another one that's in color. And so these aren't loading quickly, but I'll change out. So what helped me was when I went in, into Canva to create this journal, I went to file, showed my margins. And the reason why this is important, because anything outside of this parameter here, KDP is going to reject. So you want to make sure that you stay within this parameter, okay? Now, yes, my color, the color of the page is blue, and I um, wanted it to be this, this light blue, but I was very um, careful with it because, again, anything outside of this margin parameter, KDP will reject, but I was able to get away with the color page because I extended the color all the way to the end of the page. And so I'll show you how I did that. So let's say you want a purple page or, yeah, let's do purple. So all you have to do is, I'll go back and do it again. Select the page, select the color, and this will make sure that your margins are good and that your pages are um, in line with the KDP guidelines. Again, if you don't do it this way, it will be re rejected and you'll be frustrated. So we'll leave this page purple, purple rather, and we'll add another page and we'll start to add some content to it. So if you want to do something like a self-care journal and you want to use different elements, click on elements and let's type in self-care and see if they have anything. Okay, so have, they have quite a few here. And so I would, let's see, I would use something like, let's use this one. You can put that here. And again, don't forget to go to file and show your margin, just to make sure that everything is in place. So we can put that here. And let's add some text to it. So we'll click on text. And you can always use the presets if you like, but I, I like to customize mine a little bit more. So this uh, pink line that you see is just showing that the text is in the middle of the page. 
which is very important because you don't want your pages to print um, without some type of alignment. So we'll just type in self-care journal. And we can make it fancy. Of course, Canva has different fonts that you can use. So I like script. So I'm gonna type in script. And you'll see that throughout my videos that I just gravitate to script a little bit better. Um, this one is a popular one, so we can use this one. So um, I like my, my uh, wording to be a bit bigger. So we can move that to the middle. And it is self care journal. And then I want to add my name to the bottom. I'll type in the caps. Alrighty. So my name is down bottom to show that it's written by me. And the other great thing is too, if you can't think of a quote, you can click on elements, type quote, and they usually have some pretty cool ones. Um, so we'll choose this one, uh, enjoy every moment, and you can just place it here in the middle. So this is, this will be like the cover page for when you open the book. But if you want to do a cover, so I will go to photos. Let's see if they have any self care photos here. Um, what have some pretty cool ones? So I'll show you how I would do this. I will pick this picture and I would go to effects and remove the background. And forgive me, it's moving a little slow. But while it's removing the background, I'm going to go to Elements, X out of that, and go to Shapes and choose a square. Put my square right there for the moment and bring the shuttling down. So some people are nervous about stock photos. If you purchase Canva and um, or Adobe and you license the photo, there are some um, some restrictions to using stock photos. Um, some people just stay away from them. I personally have uh, paid accounts with both Canva and Adobe, and so I always license any stock photo that I'm going to use um, like this, and so. You can use them, but if you're you're leery about them, then you don't have to use them at all. But it, it's just a tip for you. I'm gonna change this. And I'm gonna bring her to the point. And just make her a little bit bigger. Remember, I'm staying within the margin. Put her here. What I'll probably do next is get a line. I just click on line. Get right under her. And click on self-care journal. What I'll do is duplicate it, which is this add um, square here. And slide it all the way up to that page. I don't have to do any rework. and duplicate my name. We're gonna slide it all the way up. Right there. And if I wanted to add something else, I would probably add like, I don't know, a pattern, something that would change the texture of the background. Uh, let's do, hmm. All right, let's do this one. Just gonna spread it out. Right, her. Now I'm not gonna spread this any out anymore because I don't want it to go outside of the grid line. So I'm gonna position this backward. 
and you change the color pastel and so now I have my cover and to see it without the gray lines it would look like I get pretty think pretty awesome so we now have the front cover we now have the inside cover now let's talk about gray lines so we're gonna go back to margins add margins to it and we'll do some lines like some lines like this so the good thing is that Canva already has lines in place all you have to do is just um, Pull, pull them into this design and stretch them out. So the what I'm saying is this, I'll show you. So you can go to elements, inside of that, see all lines, and you have a quite a few lines to pull from. So I would choose in this case, choose this line, and look how perfectly it fits there. I would change the color of it so it can stand out. So I'll change white or either this pastel and I'll bring it here because you, you have to think about your customers and who's going to be writing so you want to leave enough space and what I'm going to do is duplicate it and bring it down now what I'm going to do is click on this line press the shift button and click on the other line and I'm going to group them together and now I'm going to duplicate it and bring it down you don't want to have to do a lot of rework I can type in a question here just add some text bring it to the top And that could be their writing page. So see guys, we just did three pages. And if you wanted to, you could duplicate this page by pressing the duplicate page. It'll make another one and all you have to do is just change the question. It's that easy. All if they're all in the alignment with the margins. I have enough space for my customers to write. I have a nice cover and a nice um, inside cover. And this is the start of a journey. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And just to show you guys um, what your finished product would look like if you decide to publish. This is my journal here on Amazon. It's been up there since last year. Well, actually 2019. And so um, I've been doing well with it. A lot of people like it and have been enjoying it. So that's how you can create a journal in Canva. If you have any questions, please comment below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. I hope that this was helpful for you guys because I enjoy doing it. Have a great day.